Should you fix or sell your car? Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework Guide team. Welcome to another video in our Avoid Paying Extremely High Car Prices Right Now series. Today's menu includes why this topic is extremely important right now and our top five list of considerations for fixing or selling your current vehicle. Remember, you can fast forward using the chapters feature below. Simply scrub over the video timeline below and you can see the names of the chapters and select the one you want. Let's roll. Now this video is really from the heart. The Homework Guide team cares about others who don't have a good sounding board of wisdom in their life. And car ownership isn't always easy to navigate alone. No pun intended. Buying a vehicle for most people is the second biggest buying decision they make in their life next to owning a home. I'm not a car repair expert, but I've always fixed my vehicles to make them last longer because cars are depreciating assets. It's not an investment to buy a new one. People often argue that a $5,000 repair bill would be a nice down payment on a new car. Sure, depending. But what about the monthly payments after that? And for how long? 60 months, 72, 84 months? Why not wait until you have $10,000 in the bank and then just buy a nice used car in cash? Now, if you go online or ask around, the old wisdom you find everywhere is that cars wear out at 100,000 miles. Well, some parts do, but that is not the case with most vehicles that are less than 20 years old. And depending on what the weather is like where you live, vehicles can last even longer. I grew up in the land of ice and snow and cars rusted out in 20 years. But when I moved to a milder climate, I was shocked at first to see 40-year-old pickup trucks buzzing around town. That's a bonus tip. Fly in and buy used cars where the weather is nice and drive it back to your extremely hot or cold state. What's more is, if you're nervous about owning a car after 100,000 miles, what about the guy that just bought it from you? I promise you, he's going to drive your old car another 100,000 miles. Heck, growing up, my first car was a 1983 Mercury Grand Marquis, a huge, ugly, metallic brown boat of a car, and that bugger went 300,000 miles before the transmission and several other things blew up. Yes, it had major repairs, but my father was savvy about maintenance, tune-ups, and just watching for typical issues and fixing them himself. You gotta love farm boys. And then, you know where that car went? He put it out in the cow pasture because he was going to use its spare parts from it to fix his 1987 Grand Marquis, which is still running today, by the way, for dirt worlds and short trips. Good move, Dad. So, to fix your car or not to fix your car, that is the question. Everyone is wondering the same thing right now. When, oh, when are car prices going to come down? The truth is, while the prices are unreasonable now, I doubt they'll ever be normal again. So what? You're left with two options. Bite the bullet and shell out big bucks for your new ride or fix up your current vehicle and just get it to last as long as possible. Even if you've taken great care of your car, some repairs are inevitable. Rubber hoses, belts, electrical shorts, and other things will happen to your car. To help you out, the Homework Guide team has compiled a list of the top five things to do when considering car repairs versus car replacement. Number one, start saving money now. It doesn't matter how you do it. If your car is paid off and you were affording $500 a month for a car payment, keep putting between $250 and $500 a month into a savings account or rainy day fund. Then when repairs come up, you have your car payment fund to use. Dave Ramsey would be so proud. Besides, it's almost always less expensive to repair a car than buy a new one, and now you're ready. Number two, get your car inspected at a trusted shop. Here's the deal. When you go in for an oil change and the guy comes out of the back of the shop with some car part in his hand and says, you need a new X today or your car is going to blow up, you're not a happy customer. I don't like the surprise and seemingly pushy salesmanship, even if he is a good guy looking out for me. Honestly, so save yourself the headache. Go to a car repair shop now that you trust. And if you're a lady, have your husband, dad, neighbor, or friend go with you and have the shop do a 150 point inspection. It's what the homework guy recommends if you're looking at buying a used car anyway. So think of it as you're buying your own car and need to know what you're up against for repairs. I know it sounds kind of like going on a first date again, but hey, it's where you need to start. You can expect the garage to go over things like the engine compartment, including the engine, transmission, drivetrain, fluid levels, leak checks, suspension, the brakes, the rotors, tires, anti-locks, electrical, battery, lights, door locks, window motors, the exterior, your body condition, scratches, dents, rust, glass, interior upholstery and carpet, and safety features like airbags and seat belts. And they'll probably check the history like an auto check or car fax for maintenance and accident records, water or flood damage, and recalls. And finally, a road test for alignment, abnormal sounds or smells, engine and transmission performance. Now make sure you get a nice printout to take home with you and expect to pay the garage on average $100 to $300. And if you're in California, that'd probably be a thousand smackaroos. Just kidding. Not really. But do you see what you've accomplished here? Now the stress of the surprise is gone. 
Now, all you car repair guys out there, I encourage you to comment below and start some good discussion about repairs and maintenance and share your wisdom. Feel free to mention other YouTube creators that you've learned a lot from and who you think are useful for our viewers to watch when it comes to car repairs. We're all in this together, guys. Let's get it done. Number three, get out your calculator, prioritize, and do some math. If you have to pay $1,200 to get your car up to snuff, well, that's like $100 a month car payment for the next year. If it's $2,400, that's only $200 a month. Most shops tell you on the printout if the issues should be fixed right now or fixed in the near future. You can just do what makes sense for you and your budget and your peace of mind that you require. Number four, research what would be your new vehicle. Make a list of your needs like how many seats, towing capacity, gas mileage, etc. that are must-haves for you. Then call around and get prices on three new cars if you can. Dealers are not as nice on the phone these days, but just keep calling. Here's where you need to check out a bunch of our other videos. Stick around for number five on this video, but here are some highlights of considerations that you should make. Get pre-approved for financing with your own bank or credit union. Game plan your car purchase, so take notes and do your homework. If you're much newer to car buying, check out our playlist called Car Buying 101 and get smart on what you need to know. And number five, sit down with a trusted friend or family member and sell them the reason you need a new car. I am dead serious. Pull out your calculations and how much money it will take to repair your car to make it reliable and compare it to how much it will cost to drive your new intended vehicle. Make a good sales pitch about how one route is better than the other. If you're uncomfortable with role play, well, get over it because this is the only way to flush out the real truth and what you need to do. If you're trying to convince them that you should just repair your car, be sure to discuss the cost of immediate repairs, say for the next, you know, one to three months, the cost of impending repairs over the next year, and anything else that you'll have to repair or replace after a year. Tell them why you like your current car's capability, like it can pull your trailer, haul your family members, etc. How affordable is it to maintain your vehicle, like oil changes, etc., because you've been doing it now for a while, so you should be used to it. If you're trying to sell them on the idea that you do need a new car, be sure to talk about how much is your car insurance going to go up? See our video about car insurance prices. How much money down will you need because of the inflated car market? See our video about how banks are not adjusting the book value of cars and therefore they finance the old value of the car up to 110 or 120%, meaning you have to shell out more cash for the over MSRP price you were quoted by these dealers. That's your immediate cost. How much is your monthly car payment going to be? See our car payment calculator and or also just talk to your bank or credit union. You'll have to pay that cost for the next 30, 60, 84 months in a row without missing. And is the cost to maintain your new vehicle more than your old one? For example, if you now need a synthetic oil or more oil for a larger vehicle, the price of your oil change is going to be higher, could be double. Brace yourself. Can you afford the new differences? Then, this is the fun part, have your trusted friend play devil's advocate and ask the opposing questions. Keep the discussion mild but honest and kind of serious too. See the wisdom here? If you can't convince someone else it's completely logical to go one way or the other, you shouldn't buy your sales pitch either. Remember, you get by with a little help from your friends. All right, if you appreciate our From the Heart video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments really matter because they boost our searchability and lead others to great Homework Guy content too. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the Kai Bar, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.